Good morning. Tucked away in the heart of Everett is a little piece of the Emerald Isle. The Irishman boasts a hearty, authentic menu, traditional and modern entertainment, and one of the largest whiskey menus anywhere. Here to help get St. Patrick's Day celebrations off to an early start with a lesson in Irish whiskey is Barry Boyle, the Irishman's <laughs> owner and bartender. That's a pretty good combo. Yeah, I've been, been doing it a few years now, so. <laughs> it's excellent. So where did the bar get its name? Actually, my wife Heather came up with a name one day. We were uh, in the process of building the place and we hadn't named it. And we were thinking about where I'm from, Belfast City, and what it means to me. And then she decided, she mentioned the United Irishman, which was a rebellion that started in, in 1798. Yeah. But it was too long to fit on the sign. <laughs> so we had to shrink it down to just the Irishman. The Irishman. Yeah. And so we're seeing a little bit of history there. <clears throat> um, tell us about your own background in Ireland and what brought you to Seattle. We're glad you're here. Well, I've. Grew up all my life in Belfast. Um, I decided when I was 26 it was time for a change. I came to the Pacific Northwest literally for two weeks. I fell in love with the place, and that's 18 years later. I'm the still rest here. Is history. Yeah, right? basically. So let's talk about what makes it Irish. There's great pub food. There's great whiskey. But let's start with the food. Tell me about this. Well, we'll start off with this. And the portions are obviously really tiny. It's <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> well, this is our our classic uh, steak and mushroom uh, pasty. That looks so good. Um, there's a history behind that of when the shipbuilders were going to work, they would make them hot in the morning and carry them in their pockets to keep them warm. So by the time it came to lunchtime, they would be cooled down to be able to eat them. That's awesome. Yeah. Now this who is who doesn't like a meat pie? Yeah. This is a cold corned beef sandwich. It's mm -hmm. just a standard dish that we do. This is our traditional shepherd's pie, which is made with the lamb. A shepherd's pie has to be made with lamb. It cannot be made with beef. Very good. I'm glad we've got that out of the way. And, and this then is, a little corned beef hash. This is called cannon. It's an old Irish dish. It's basically a mixture of our champ mashed potatoes, corned beef, sausage, and cabbage all mixed together with green onions on top. Oh, my goodness. That sounds delicious. So do you find that people who come in are have Irish ancestry? Do they tell you about that yeah, and a lot ask of, you questions? Yeah, a lot of them will. Um, I'll always do my best to answer the best <laughs> I can. But, yeah, um, especially... Uh, up, especially up north, being by, by Boeing, yeah. we get a lot of them coming across, and they're all good people. You know, they just want to have a good pint. And Patty's Day coming. It's right as around well. the corner. So, so let's talk about whiskeys. <coughs> and there's a difference between Irish whiskey and what we know as Scotch. Uh, Scotch yeah, whiskey. Well, Tell me about that. Scotch is just whiskey. It's just yes. called Scotch because it comes from Scotland. Now, the main difference between Scotch whiskey and Irish whiskey is Scotch whiskey is distilled twice over an open kiln. Normally over a bed of peat moss is where you get the, the smokiness coming through and the peat flavor coming through. I love that's uh, the peatier. The that's better. what you like. Okay, yes, well, very much. the Irish whiskeys are a little bit different. They're distilled. All Irish whiskeys are distilled a minimum of three times over mm -hmm. a closed kiln, so you don't get any of the outside impurities coming through. So it's a lot smoother on the palate, and it's got to be a lo little bit sweeter as well. And that's good. Also, you should, you should have a balance yes. of Irish and Scottish <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> Yeah. So tell me about the ones you brought. So the ones I brought here, this is the Red Bush uh, from Bush Mills. This is the standard Bush Mills Irish whiskey, but they kept this in a bourbon cask. So it's got more of the American style bourbon flavor, but it's still triple distilled, so it's still sweet and smooth at the end. Mm -hmm. now the next one I brought, this is the Jameson Cask Mate. Which everybody's familiar with. Jameson is super yes, popular. Th this one is a new one they brought out a couple of years ago. This one they actually kept in an IPA cask. And the Pacific wow. Northwest is famous for its IPA, so right. I figured this would work today. Yeah, that's a great kind of new way to taste Jameson's if uh, you correct. haven't before. And you'll before. get the hints of the IPA at the very tail end of that one. Cool. Now, the furthest one, that's the Tullamore Drew 12 year. That's one of my favorite whiskeys. I do love that one. <laughs> it's quite complex. It's, uh, it's a mixture of three different stills of the mash, the pot still, and the golden grain. And then it's kept for 12 years, six years in a bourbon cask, and then six years in a sherry cask. Do you think maybe I could have just a tiny taste of you, that? Certainly, you help yourself. I mean, could you I show, you, could I show you a little trick? Yes, please. Before you start, mm -hmm. you get a lot more flavor through your nose than you do actually through your mouth. So mm -hmm. if you put your hand out, dip your finger in the whiskey, right, into the palm of your hand. Just rub it together until it gets a bit warm and tacky, and then smell. You're, you're, you're yep. for real, I'm not. 100%. Am I falling for something? Oh my gosh, that you smells delicious. Flavor, and I, I'm going to rub my whole body yeah. in that so that I smell like that all now day. Now your first sip, they reckon you should keep it on your palate for one second every year the bottle's aged. Now this is a 12 year. Oh my gosh. So, as long as, uh, you, so you as, keep talking as long while as you I can, leave this on my palate. For as many seconds as you possibly can, because that's where you're going to get the flavor coming up in the back end tail of it in the back of your throat. <laughs> you just keep going there. You're doing all right. <laughs> Ooh. 
delicious. Yeah. Oh it's my one God. of my favorites. It really Ooh, is. That is super smooth, isn't yeah. it? That could be dangerous. All right, so let's talk about um, a cocktail you're going to put together. Yeah, it's real simple, um, real sort of standard. It's an Irish mule. It's a Tullamore Wait a second. Irish. That is delicious. Does it come so back I just want to say that. Again? Yeah, the, I just the got the little. The oh my the goodness, yeah. the vanilla, definitely. So basically, this is your standard. Woo! Tullamore G Irish whiskey, triple distilled, over ice. We just I use a ginger beer. We use the Bedford's ginger beer at our bar. Cool. Ginger beer is yep, delicious. Top it off. So it's like a mule. And basically, it's a Tullamore Dew Irish mule. Squeeze a lime. What's your favorite Which, drink? Me, I'm a Guinness guy. And, <laughs> I am. I'm a Guinness guy and whiskey. Heidi, come take a taste. I'm going to share. I can make a second one if you'd like. Okay, yep, she says. Not a problem. There you go. Come on in. Heidi, our executive producer, is having a having a taste. Mm. <laughs> you Bye. can take it. <laughs> <laughs> this whole crew, we're the worst. No, that's what you did, right? Certainly. That looks delicious. No, What's your fave? Uh, uh, the Guinnesses. Well, I just love the standard Guinness beer itself, the stout, but of, of the whiskeys. I'm really favored towards the Tullamore Jew 12 year. I really do enjoy it. Um, I do like the castmates as well, I have to admit. And you like this one too. <laughs> yeah, I actually do, but if I have a choice, if I'm, if I'm going to a bar and I have those three as a choice, I'm going to take the Tullamore Jew 12 year. That's Me awesome. personally. So yeah. tell me a little bit about the interior, um, how you've set this up to look like home and what we can experience, those of us with Irish ancestry. Yeah, well, my wife did a lot of the interior design herself. She decided where all the pictures were going to go. Every picture in the bar actually was taken by my wife. Wow. We didn't buy them. We took her to Ireland. She took the pictures. We brought them back, framed them, put them up. How cool. And obviously, being from Ireland, I spent a lot of time in pubs yeah. back home. So she, my wife just looked around and seen what she liked and the colors. And she basically designed the whole so interior. she's not Irish? No, she's not. My wife's from Renton. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that combination, Renton and Belfast, it, a classic, it, right? Yes, it, it, it can be interesting some nights. I, <laughs> but but yeah, she must so, have loved it. Yeah, she has, we've always had a great time every time we go home. And yeah, she's got the art side of her, and I just had the practical side of knowing how to set up the bar, and everything's going to work for my bartenders. Yep. And I just let her design it, and she did a wonderful job. That sounds like a very good partnership. Yeah, so what are the it. celebrations for St. Patrick's? Well, we'll be open at 11 a.m. And <laughs> Could you make it 8? Sometimes no. I have in the past, but <laughs> not, not this year, not this year. And um, at 4 a.m., or 4 p.m., sorry, I have a guy called Oliver Mulholland playing. Mm -hmm. He's a live Irish music balladeer. Oh, wow. He'll come in, one guy on the guitar, and he'll play like the ballad songs, and then he'll do all the drinking songs, things get a bit rowdy. And then later on that night, he played about 7.30. And then around 9, I have a guy called Alex Britton coming in mm -hmm. with his band, and they're going to be playing like the Pogues, Cranberries, uh, Dropkick awesome. Murphys, Love all the, the traditional Irish Murphy's. stuff, right through yes. until close. That sounds perfect. Lots of giveaways, t-shirts, hats, all that. The food, obviously. The Could be the place the to be. Barry, yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate thank you. It. Barry has shared the recipes for Colcannon and his Tullamore Mule cocktail. You can find it on New Day's homepage. Woo! Up next on New Day, meet a Bellingham woman who hiked her way into the record book. She shares her grueling and historic accomplishment after a quick break. That was way